We want you to get more out of your Google Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL, so we've collated a series of the best tips, tricks and essentials to get you started. For specific tips, head to the timestamps in the description. Before we begin, we will want to enable developer mode on your Pixel device. So to do so, simply head to the settings, select system, about phone, and now scroll down to the bottom and find your device build number. Tap this around six or seven times until it asks for your device pin. Once you've confirmed that, you will be confirmed as a developer. With that out of the way, we can now delve into some of the tips and tricks. This isn't exactly your groundbreaking, but it isn't possible right out of the box. You can enable the fingerprint scanner swipe to quickly access the notifications shade and quick toggles menu on your Pixel 3. To do so, simply head to settings, system, gestures, select swipe fingerprint for notifications and toggle that option on. Yeah, the notch isn't great on the Pixel 3 XL. It's a big boy, so we get that you might want to hide the notch. To do so, we have two options, both of which are nice and easy. To hide the notch using developer mode, open settings, select system, developer options, and scroll until you see display cutout. Choose hide and it will black out the portion of display either side of the notch. Now you can do this also with an app called Nacho Notch. So head to the Google Play Store and install the application. Once installed, open the quick toggles panel Press edit and add the Nacho Notch toggle. Tap the toggle to hide the notch and simply tap again to disable. This is a great feature to quickly jump into the camera from any app or the lock screen. To enable or disable, head to settings, scroll to system, gestures. Now select jump to camera and enable or disable the feature as you see fit. This one isn't available to anyone outside of the US, so I personally haven't been able to test it. Once it does become available globally though, we'll do a much more in-depth rundown of this feature. To use call screening in the US, when someone calls, tap screen call. Google Assistant will now screen the call and speak to the person at the end of the line. You get to see a real-time transcript of the call chat log, and beyond that, you can take the call at any time or send canned responses, or beyond that, even block the call entirely. When in the camera, you can give your pixel a little wiggle to quickly jump between the selfie cam and the rear facing camera. To enable, simply head to settings, gestures, flip camera, and now toggle the feature on. Customization is of course a core selling point of Android, even with the more vanilla stock, and this daily wallpaper option is in fact available for anyone with the Google Wallpapers app. To activate this neat feature, simply long press on your home screen, go to wallpaper and select a wallpaper section, Please note that the Living Universe and Come Alive section does not allow for this daily wallpaper update. Now within the section that you've chosen, select daily wallpaper and get new updates every single day. I personally had to add this as Android Pie has made it way more confusing than it needs to be. To get apps into split screen on Android Pie, swipe up into the multitasking mode. Now press and hold the icon at the top of each window. Now a sub menu will pop up allowing you to select split screen. Now find the app at the lower half to go 50-50. To enable a global dark mode for any compatible system apps, head to settings, system, advanced and then developer options. Now scroll down or search for night mode. Now toggle the option to always on to have a dark mode theme everywhere it's supported. You can adjust the volume key operation when in the stock camera simply by opening the camera app, heading to more, settings, gestures, now select the volume key action to suit what you need to do. That includes zooming and controlling this shutter. Not exactly new to the Android space, but a neat trick all the same. Flip to shush turns your phone into do not disturb mode when you put your phone face down on a flat surface. To enable, head to settings, system, gestures, now select flip to shush and toggle on. This is one of my favorite little tricks that not many people really know about when using Android Pie or Oxygen OS with Android Pie running. When you're in an app or at the home screen, simply press and hold the home pill button while swiping left and right to quickly scroll through your open apps. Let it go and it will open the app you've chosen. This has been around on Android for a long, long time, but it still ups the feel of speed on your phone, even if it doesn't make your pixel any faster. To remove or decrease animation speed, go to settings, 
advanced developer options. Now scroll down or use the search bar to enter window animation scale, transition animation scale or animator duration scale. Toggle all of these options to 0.5x or off as you see fit. We don't get a proper silent mode button toggle on the Pixel, but you can quickly launch into vibrate or silent mode simply by pressing the volume up and power button at the very same time. To enable this prevent ringing mode, head to settings, system, gestures, select prevent ringing and toggle on. Again, not a new feature as this has been available on the Pixel 2 since launch, but you can actually squeeze your Pixel 3 to dismiss calls, silence notifications, timers and alarms and more. To enable, head to settings, system, gestures, active edges, squeeze for silence and toggle that on. Hopefully that has unearthed some tips that you can use with your Pixel 3 and help you get more from your smartphone. If you have any other tips and tricks then please let us know, there are literally hundreds out there and we can't share them all in this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this, but until next time, thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.